hello students today i will start my lecture on hi hybridoma technology it's a mild tone in the biotechnological technology it in this technology we can produce the monoclonal antibody uh, it, we start with the immune system how to prepare the immune system so before going to that we'll just see what is immune immunus is the latin term where uh, it means exempt referring to the production against foreign antigen an integrated body system of organ tissues cells and cell products that differentiate from self and non self neutral and neutralize the potentially pathogenic organism so it uh, it means that it uh, identify the antigen foreign particles and neutralize them so this is the uh, reaction of the immune system the cells of the immune system so it starts with the pluripotent uh, stem cells so it divide uh, into meliaid lineage and uh, lymphoid lineage uh, so our uh, target is the b cell so we'll just go for lymphoid lineage so lymphoid lineage produce b cell and t cells b from the bone marrow cells t from the thymus gland so b cells uh, produce the antibody so our target for this technology is the b cell so b cells produce the antibody so antibody are otherwise called as immunoglobulin so what is means antibody is a protein used by the immune system to neutral identify and neutralize the foreign objects like bacteria virus and fungal uh, bodies immunoglobulin sorry for the structure uh, slide the immunoglobulin are structurally related glycoprotein that function as antibody so antibody or immunoglobulin either they are same immunoglobulin is the protein structurally related protein uh, glycoprotein synthesized by the uh, b cells so so this is the structure of uh, antibody so it has an heavy chain and a light chain the green color one is the light chain and the violet color one is the heavy chain and it has two regions namely uh, constant region and these region are the variable region so these are the variable region so it has both in the light as well as in the heavy chain uh, variable region constant region so the variable region is the one very important one which a change itself ba uh, based on the epitopic uh, uh, region in the antibody uh, uh, antigen so antigen has the epitopic region epitopic region means which stimulates the immune system or the production of the antibody so antibody is nothing but a protein that attach to invade bacteria and viruses and tag the invader for destruction and tag the invader for the destruction means it will uh, make the uh, antigen present the antigen to the uh, uh, immuno immune system for destruction of the antigen so we'll go for the types of antibodies so based on the uh, cloning uh, that that uh, neutralizing uh, capacity we divide the antibody into two types polyclonal as well as monoclonal antibody Uh, so polyclonal antibodies are derived from different cell cell lines they differ in the amino acid sequence so they differ mainly in the amino acid sequence so so this one is the polyclonal so polyclonal means if uh, we can inject the antigen inside either rabbit uh, chicken uh, uh, monkey so um, uh, even lamb we can inject and we can produce the polyclonal antibody it has a different epitopic uh, uh, region so antibody uh, this antibody can bind with many uh, uh, antigenic uh, epitope so its specificity was not that much equal uh, no, not specific for the antigen so sometimes it can bind with the anti antigen uh, may it may not bind also so the specificity was less when compared with that of the its counterpart monoclonal 
antibody the monoclonal antibody are identical because they were produced by one type of immune cell all clones of a single parent b cells all clones of single parent b cells so uh, the the epitopic region was very specific it will bind with the antigen exactly so what is the variation between the polyclonal as well as the monoclonal antibody so polyclonal antibody derived from b lymphocytes uh, so different b lymphocytes cell lines okay they are produced from the different b lymphocyte uh, cell lines monoclonal uh, it's produced from a single b cell clone it's a clone uh, so it's a the same cell which was divided into uh, which produced the monoclonal antibody uh, so there is a batch wise variation affecting the antibody reactivity and titer so there is a variation in the reaction yeah, how it react with the antigen how it react with the uh, system so there is a variation in the uh, antibodies uh, the polyclonal antibody however the monoclonal antibody offers reproducible and potentially inexhaustible supply of antibody with equistic specificity so the specificity was more we can say it's more than 100% 100% specificity we can uh, get with the monoclonal antibody but not with the polyclonal antibody so uh, polyclonal antibody is uh, it's an antibody produced against an antigen but its specificity was less so we cannot use for uh, as a powerful tools for the clinical diagnostic test clinical diagnostic text test we cannot use uh, we cannot uh, reliable on uh, rely on uh, polyclonal antibody however monoclonal antibody uh, enable development of secure immuno assay system we can produce a secure safe and secure immuno assay system uh, so we just go for the uh, discovery of uh, antibodies monoclonal antibody so uh, by the beginning of uh, 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 beginning of 20th century paul al ulrich coined the term magic bullet and uh, defined it and started uh, uh, telling about the magic bullet so however kogler uh, uh, and caesar meilstein george kogler and caesar meilstein in the year 1975 Uh, proposed and probably publish a paper in, uh, based on the, uh, publication publication uh, about the monoclonal antibody by the year 1984 the his discovery was uh, recognized and given nobel prize for the uh, a nobel prize in the physiology and medicine by the year 1984 for the discovery of a new technology called hybridoma technology so he proposed the work by 1975 and he got the nobel and they got the new uh, nobel prize by the year 1984 for the hybridoma technology so monoclonal antibodies types they, we can uh, classify the monoclonal antibodies according to the evolution uh, so by the evolution the first generation is from urine so urine is nothing but ma- mouse mouse or mice rat okay so the initially the antibodies are produced from the uh, mammalian system either uh, rat or rabbit but mostly we use the uh, laboratory laboratory rats like uh, uh, albino uh, wister uh, albino or wister rats uh, or mouse or mice okay so this is the uh, uh, mostly of a polyclonal type uh, so this is um, uh, it's it's a uh, it's very uh, spe- the specificity also very less compared with that of the the second generation uh, antibodies so they are uh, chimeric uh, humanized and human so three types of uh, second generation antibody throughout the progression of monoclonal antibody development there have been four major types that is the murin chimeric humanized and human the chimeric uh, antibody is the uh, um, combination of both mouse and human okay Uh, so the i told that uh, um, variable region so this variable region is from the mouse uh, uh, gene and uh, remaining light chain as well as heavy chain uh, constant region was from the 
human so about 65 percentage of uh, the protein was human from human origin second one uh, is the humanized so about 95 percent of the protein produced was antibody was uh, um, human origin the remaining five percent were based on the human mouse model uh, human is directly from the transgenic uh, mice which carries the uh, genes for the human which carries the gene for the immunized uh, immune uh, b cells so it can produce the human uh, protein human antibody so it's an human uh, antibody according to the design the antibodies are divided into three types a naked monoclonal antibody conjugated monoclonal antibody immune toxin monoclonal antibody so this is an another uh, uh, very big uh, chapter uh, how to prepare how to design a uh, monoclonal antibody but, but today our lecture based on the uh, hybridoma technology so just we uh, we can know what is uh, monoclonal antibody conjugated monoclonal antibody immune toxin monoclonal antibody so naked monoclonal antibody doesn't have any attachment or a carrier so it doesn't have any uh, conjugated protein or conjugated radio uh, or radio active chemicals so it doesn't have like that so it's a naked one direct uh, monoclonal antibody uh, so it doesn't have any side effects so conjugated monoclonal antibody it has an conjugated it's uh, it was combined with an adjuvant it can, it can combine with an radio labeled uh, material or it can combine with an enzyme linked uh, uh, antibody so immune toxin monoclonal antibodies are uh, 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 inactivated uh, toxic drug was attached with the antibody and those drugs can be a uh, target for uh, identification of the cancer cell line cancer cells and by taking an another uh, substrate uh, to the uh, to that uh, immune system so it will be it will be converted as an toxin so that uh, cancer cell can be destroyed so this is the concept but we, we can see this uh, uh, naked monoclonal antibody conjugated monoclonal antibody and immune toxin monoclonal anti antibody separately in an another class next we just go into the principle the monoclonal antibodies are typically made by fusing myeloma cells and uh, lymphocyte b lymphocyte cell uh, that is that one b lymphocyte should be immunized with the uh, desired antigen uh, hybridoma technology creates monoclonal antibodies produce hybrid cells by fusing b lymphocytes with the myeloma cells tumor cells hybrid cells so they have the capacity to produce the antibody because they have the genetic material of b lymphocytes and it can also uh, proliferate in the culture medium uh, the b lymphocytes nature is they can produce antibody but they cannot be cultured in an uh, in vitro method they cannot be cultured in the unit because their lifespan was very 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 short even uh, within a single day it will go for uh, destruction so uh, it, the hybrid cells only hybrid cells can ha can have the uh, capacity to produce the antibody with uh, continuous culture in the uh, medium uh, that is inside the cell culture medium so this technology uh, is very much useful that hybrid cells can be uh, immunized with the uh, b lymphocytes and b lymphocyte will can fused with the uh, cancer cell the tumor cell my myeloma cells so they have both the genetic material for the antibody production as well as they can divide in pro proliferate in the cell culture medium so they can satisfy the both the uh, uh, points uh, how to produce the monoclonal antibody there are about uh, five uh, steps involved in this uh, production of monoclonal antibody first one is the immunization of the uh, mice and the mice was challenged with the desired anti antigen for example covid 19 it can the virus can be uh, challenged with the uh, mice so this mice uh, immunized with the or uh, challenged with the antigen uh, we can dissect the spleen cells and this spleen cells was disaggregated and uh, we can go for uh, uh, go with the uh, fusion with the myeloma cells so then 
screening of hybridoma we have to do the screening which uh, cells are hybrid cells uh, unfused cells of b cells and uh, uh, myeloma cells should be uh, should not be inside the culture medium so we have to destruct uh, destroy the uh, other cells other than hybrid cells another one culture of hybrid cells in the hat medium so another one is the uh, uh, fourth one is the culture of uh, hybrid cells in the hat medium fifth one is the harvest of monoclonal antibody our desired antibody can be uh, uh, cultured and harvested in a large scale amount large uh, amount or large scale production so this one is the uh, different steps involved in the uh, production of monoclonal antibody next is the hat medium we should know what is hat medium hat is nothing but uh, hy hy hydroxy amino hydroxy hydro hypoxanthine amino pterin thymidin hypoxanthine amino pterin thymidin so it's a, it's a chemical so i just got uh, struck with the name so hypoxanthine amino pterin thymidin it's a the, this this chemical was contained in the cell culture medium so it is called as hat medium the selection of hybrid used in the selection of hybrid cells so what is the principle behind uh, this uh, medium is myeloma cells are hgprt deficient so this is an enzyme uh, hypoxanthine glyc uh, glu guanine hypoxanthine guanine phosphorylase uh, phosphoribosyl transferase so this is the enzyme hydroxy ala uh, hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase is the enzyme which can, which converts the simple sugars uh, hypoxanthine into guanine so these are all the uh, de novo and salvage pathways so aminopterin present in the medium will block the uh, simple sugars to be converted into a uh, nucleotides so this is the de novo synthesis of nucleotides for example they require guanine for the uh, dna synthesis guanine guanine uh, nucleotide was required in the uh, dna synthesis so that was blocked so they cannot grow in the medium so the b cells without hgprt cannot be grown in the hat medium hybrid cells uh, they are uh, positive they have uh, uh, hypoxanthine guanine phosphor phosphor phosphate uh, phosphoryl transferase hypoxanthine guanine phosphoryl transferase enzyme was present in the hybrid cells as well as in myeloma cells but myeloma cells can, life cycle life span was very short so they cannot grow continuously grow inside the hat medium so only hybrid cells can grow inside the Uh, hat medium so this is the marker uh, medium for hybridoma technology with this technology only with this medium only they have developed the developed the technology so thing is that hgprt hypoxanthine i mean uh, guanine phosphoryl transferase enzyme blocks uh, they can convert the hypoxanthine into guanine however uh, the aminopterin blocks the uh, for conversion of uh, simple sugars into nucleotides so hypoxanthine so we cannot have the hypoxanthine so the b, b cells without hgprt they cannot uh, survive in the hat medium b cells they have they are uh, uh, hgprt positive but they still they cannot continue in the hat medium because their life uh, their nature is the like uh, they cannot uh, continue for long time so only uh, hybrid cells can continue in the hat medium Uh, b cells has the enzyme hgbrt b cells uh, uh, die soon so the, that's what i told they do not have the capacity to grow indefinitely because of their limited life span the hgbrt is the hypoxanthine guanine phosphoryl transferase enzyme okay so what are all the materials required for the Uh, technology to continue so the techniques to be carry out we need the um, requirement uh, materials required so medium is hat medium hypoxanthine aminopterin thymidin uh, fusogen agent is polyethylene uh, glycol uh, third cells what are the cells we required myelin spleen immunized with the antigen desired antigen and myeloma cells 
so cancer cell b b cell b cancerous cells okay so these cells are myeloma cells so immunized uh, cells immunized with the uh, desired antigen we need so these are all the materials uh, required for the technology techniques to carry out so first step involved is the immunization of the mice and selection of a mouse donor for generation of hybridoma cells so first we need to uh, immunize the uh, cells we need to inject the antigen inside the uh, rat mice uh, with the intraperitoneal uh, way as a method and then we need to go for we have to wait for at least one week uh, and then the cells uh, we have to check whether the antigen anti antibody was antigen able to able to stimulate the uh, immune cells of the rat for the production of antibody so those spleen cells was harvest and uh, we have to dissect the whole spleen cells and we have to go for disaggregation method and then we need to co collect the uh, b lymphocytes uh, challenged with the are immunized with the antigen so those b cells was taken and the uh, we need we have, I have to check for a, a antibody product whether there is a polyclonal antibody was there inside against that particular antigen then we have to uh, collect the spleen cells disaggregation we method where we have to follow then the b cells was harvested that is the immune challenged b cells was harvested so these so these are the things so the myeloma cells before uh, next th thing is the preparation of the myeloma cell the first one is the preparation of the uh, b cells b cells has to be immunized with the antigen second one is the third one was the preparation of the myeloma cells so myeloma cells was mixed with the a azaguine uh, to prepare the myeloma cells for a high value viability and rapid cells so the, this myeloma cells can grow in the uh, hat medium for for continue for a little time separation of fused uh, cell and uh, screening so before uh, this one i need have a slide where the we have to fuse the uh, hybrid uh, so i have missed one slide that the, the the thing is that we need to fuse the uh, b lymphocytes immunized in b lymphocytes with the myeloma cells so with the fusogen uh, polyethylene glycol so this polyethylene glycol will fuse the produce the hybrid cells the hybrid cells where we will have the genetic material of both b lymphocytes as well as the uh, myeloma uh, cancerous cells continuously dividing uh, nature so this hybrid cells can uh, be used as the uh, production antibody production continuous production of antibody the next step is to separate the fused hybridoma cells from the unfused b cells and myeloma cells the unfused b cells will always automatically die in the medium uh, because they lack the ability to survive in the culture surviving hybridomas are separated and individually cultured so we have to separate the cells individually single single cells in the 96 cell plate and we have to culture those uh, uh, single um, hybrid cells into uh, and those uh, antibodies were checked because uh, because the each uh, anti and the antigen have different epitopes the uh, cells may have uh, different anti uh, epitope the, the the micro the microbes are uh, viruses they have a different antigenic uh, uh, epitopic region so all the epitopic region will be have the uh, will have the antigen antibodies so those we can identify with the help of uh, culturing the single b cells in 96 cell well plates these cells are described as clonal culture because all the cells from each well are derived from the uh, single cell and therefore identical or clones so they they have an identical clones so they each uh, well will give a, a similar type of antibody okay there is no change in the epitopic region so it will be against a single epitope single uh, antigenic stimulating uh, region in the antigen so this is a very very important one after culturing for few weeks the cell culture fluid was screened for the presence of uh, antibody that is the monoclonal antibody so it's a labor intensive uh, method one so we need to have a large number of uh, labors for screening the uh, presence of uh, monoclonal antibody and uh, um, 
sensitivity of this assay is uh, very very less we can have hybrid cells for about uh, 5 to 10 percent only because uh, the fusion of cells it takes uh, it has a large number of uh, biological factors so we have to satisfy those factors then only we can get the hybrid cells the hybrid cells can produce the monoclonal antibody uh, so hope uh, students hope you know how to uh, what are what are all the hybridoma technology involves what are the cells involved what are the chemicals involved in the fusion uh, of uh, hybrid cells and how to culture the uh, hybrid cells and uh, how to maintain the uh, how to separate the unfused cells from the hybrid cells so these are all the techniques involved in the hybridoma technology and now we go for the applications of uh, monoclonal antibody uh, the, uh, we can have a therapeutic as well as a diagnostic application diagnostic application where the monoclonal antibodies are uh, used as a rap, uh, rapid diagnostic uh, method for the identification of hep hepatitis influenza herpes uh, streptococcal and uh, chlamydia infections so these are all the common uh, and uh, very severe severe uh, uh, infections so these things can be uh, identified rapidly with the help of monoclonal antibody because uh, they are very specific, specific against this particular antigen and the uh, second one is the pregnancy test so it's an another milestone in this technology we can identify the pregnant we, we can confirm the pregnancy of an uh, individual with the help of a human chorionic gonadotropin uh, uh, antibody so those uh, were specific for that particular portion uh, person so it can be identified uh, and uh, confirm the pregnancy and uh, animal uh, disease diagnosis can be done with the very uh, useful uh, identification of identification and antigenetic uh, antigenic characterization can be done with the help of uh, monoclonal antibody the other cancer cells uh, lymphoid and myeloid uh, malignancies um, uh, cancers can be identified easily tissue typing which which tissue can be for uh, tissue grafting uh, auto auto rejection can be avoided with the help of a monoclonal antibody enzymes linked uh, immunosorbent assay so it's an enzyme linked uh, sorbent so the those types uh, naked uh, conjugated and uh, another type of uh, antibody i told so this one is the immuno linked uh, immu uh, immunosorbent assay enzyme linked immunosorbent assay we can do radio immuno assay can be done with the help of uh, monoclonal antibody serological testing of uh, microorganism can be done so uh, we can type the microorganism based on their uh, stereotypes so similar for example e coli have different uh, strains of uh, e coli so we can type those uh, stereotypes with the help of a monoclonal antibody against uh, produced against that particular microorganism so monoclonal antibody can be produced in large amount in an homogeneous and reproducible form for a diagnostic as well as therapeutic purposes so this is the uh, most uh, uh, highlight of the monoclonal antibody so monoclonal antibody can be produced in large amount that is the technology we have biotechnological method we can produce large uh, uh, large commercialized uh, uh, technology biotechnology so we can have uh, a large amount of homogeneous another thing is homogeneous similar type of antibodies can be produced and it can be a reproducible one say if you produce in this particular batch and again we have in the second batch also the similar type of antibodies are produced we cannot change there is no change in the structural as well as functional uh, uh, change there we cannot find any structural or functional change in this antibody so they are homogeneous as well as reproducible form in the diagnostic as well as therapeutic uh, uh, purpose so we can uh, diagnose with the any we can diagnose any kind of disease or uh, genetic disease as well as the acquired disease as well as uh, re uh, therapeutic we can go for uh, cancer treatment uh, or we can find uh, uh, antibody for uh, tuberculosis or uh, um, any uh, hiv we can find the antibodies and we can cure for uh, we can be a treatment for this find a treatment for this uh, particular disease so hope students you might have understand what is this technology i have a uh, just a uh, i have thrown a light on uh, a new technology that is hybridoma technology how to produce a monoclonal antibody with this uh, i will end this lecture
thank you thank you students